welcome to the Southampton Ghost Walk experience. I'll be one of your tour guides this evening. No, true story, this is uh, Rogers, of course, and that lady does still haunt your eyes only. The next time we're going to go in there and find out. <laughs> I'm very open, I'm quite sceptical. I, I do think that a lot of people probably do think they've encountered something uh, unusual which probably can be explained. Probably 96% of things can be explained through normal phenomena. But it's a certain few things that make you think, hang on a minute, there's something a bit strange out there. My belief in the supernatural comes from the Bible teaches us about it. And the Bible teaches us actually to steer clear of the supernatural. They started out with ghost hunts, then they've gone on to mediums and seances, and it, sometimes it stays where it is, it just goes to a bit of fun. But sometimes it goes further into the occult. Fun, definitely. I'm not going to lie, it is a little bit um, fun when people get a bit scared. So I think it's belittling the supernatural. It's making out that it's a joke, when I firmly believe that actually going into that sort of area is dangerous. I just don't want to see people hurt by something that they thought was a bit of fun. I have quite mixed views. I do believe in the supernatural, but we can never say ghosts still don't exist. I respect everybody's views. Maybe I don't agree with his views, he won't agree with mine. And again, that's what makes the paranormal so exciting with so many views. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late to help me. I will always try and look at logical reasoning behind things before I'm going down the paranormal route. Net the Abbey in Southampton, I physically got pushed by someone into one of my colleagues. Uh, when we turned around, there was absolutely no one there. I don't think the paranormal is dangerous, but I do think you need to know what you're doing. If you're going to go out there and experiment with these things like Ouija boards, if you do it wrong, something's going to go wrong. A young lady who had, as a young person, played around with Ouija boards and I thought it was a bit of fun. I had actually got very frightened when the board started, when the glass started moving around on its own. Um, and as a result of that, actually had episodes where she blacked out. And when she was blacked out, she would actually do writing of all sorts of horrible things and have no knowledge of it when she woke back up. If they believe that it is demonic and you shouldn't do Ouija boards, then I completely respect that. From our point of view, there's very, very little evidence, as what the media says, that Ouija boards are actually that bad. Bad stories are much more interesting than good ones. And that's how Ouija boards become that bad. Yes, bad things do happen if you don't do it right. They do believe in ghosts. What do they believe the ghosts are? So what ghosts are? Well, it depends. Some people say they're here because they love the place, they've got unfinished business, they're trapped. Um, they, in my opinion, they're just people that have probably either loved someone or stuck somewhere. But they have a reason to be there. I don't believe they are the ghosts of people or animals or whatever who have died. People that perhaps haven't moved on, either through not being able to or not wanting to. As a Christian, I struggle with that definition because I believe people who've died are in God's care. I don't think he'd send them back to roam the streets. I do believe there's something supernatural about them and I do believe it's probably something more evil than good.